ProLin PLN. Hello, my name is Kyle Bentley. I'm an application engineer with ProLin PLM. In this snack bite video, we're going to look at the overview of convergent modeling. There was a lunch bite already created on convergent modeling. In this snack bite video, we're going to look at a quick overview on what is convergent modeling. Convergent modeling works with facets, surfaces, and solids without any conversion. What this means is you can import your STL or scan data into NX as a convergent body and then use your traditional modeling commands such as surfaces and solids without any conversion on the facet. And then we can create geometry directly on or around the facet and then we can also create and use our Boolean operations as we need on the facet as well. I'm going to create a separate video on the new tools inside of NX12 on modifying and cleaning up the scanned uh, facet data. So please check that out. In our first example here, I'm going to go ahead and import an STL file. And I'll go ahead and select that file, and it's going to be a skull from the medical field. And here, I'll go ahead and select the facet body output type. I could use the convergent right away. I'm going to go ahead and show the facet conversion that we can do with NX11 and NX12. Previous to NX11 and NX12, we used the NX and the JT, which then imported a facet body. So let's go ahead and use the NX option, and then we'll go ahead and import it. Notice it then imports under the non-timestamp geometry and it imports a facet body. So previous workflows to create a usable model took a long time to actually create a usable model that we can use inside of NX to use our commands. Now in NX11 and NX12, I have a command that quickly does that for me with the convert facet body. So I'll go ahead and select that, select the skull, and then press OK. Now notice in our history tree there, it converts it into a convergent body, and I can use my traditional modeling commands. So I'll go ahead and create a sketch here. And I'll go ahead and create a patch that I'm going to put on the skull. So I'll go ahead and use the studio spline and create a quick patch on this skull here. Once I get my sketch created, I'm going to go ahead and project and subdivide that on the skull here. So I'll go ahead and select my skull and then the sketch. And then it'll project and divide that area from the, uh, from the skull there. So notice I'm directly working with the convergent body. All right, so if I change my selection filter to solid body here, we still have one solid body. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use the extrude command. Notice there's two different areas, two different faces. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use the extrude or our solids command here. Reverse the direction to create our patch and then press OK. Now notice if I come in here and change it to solid body, since I left it on none, I have two solid bodies. So now I can use my Boolean operations command to uh, unite that into one body. So now my selection filter is set to solid and now I have one solid body that I used um, on convergent bodies using um, our traditional modeling commands. Alright, let's go ahead and look at another example. In here I already have an STL that's been converted into a convergent body. This is a scanned knee. So in here I'll go ahead and show my designed body. I designed a brace around a knee that I need for surgery to cut the top of the knee off. So notice it's designed around the knee and I have the area, um, it's placed in where I need the area to be subtracted out. So with NX11 and NX12, I can quickly do a subtract on that area to get my design part. So I'll go ahead and use my Boolean operations in here, select my design part and the STL and show that preview and it quickly does a subtract and takes the profile of that knee. Alright, let's go ahead and look at 
one last example. Previous to NX12, we could use global shaping to control size and shape of our models. Now new in NX12, I can use global shaping on convergent bodies or facet bodies. So I'll go ahead and come up to the global shaping command, select the dentures and the base curve. So I want to control the size. I'm going to go ahead and make these bigger by a curve. And notice the dentures will get bigger here. So then I can go ahead and press OK on that. So I get a bigger size dentures. All right, so that is how we can use convergent modeling inside of NX to make and create our geometry around our convergent bodies. ProLim PLM.